Yeah, what's happening, everybody? Cuckoo Cutter, man. Shoot, I ain't gonna talk about nothing. Just like the rest of my other videos and stuff, man. But, uh, yeah, I'm over here at Norman. About to get loaded. Uh, some, um, Bob, um, uh, bare wire, you know, roll fence, what have you, taking that bad boy to Mississippi. Just got off of Thanksgiving. Ate good, drank two beer. When I'm off, man, I drink beer. Every day that starts with tea. Tuesday, Thursday, today, and tomorrow. That's what I do. That's the way I maintain my sanity. Got to see my son. Came all the way down to uh, El Paso. He's stationed in El Paso. He's been in the military about six months. Drove down, took him eight hours to come down. Got to see his grandma. He ain't seen in a minute. Uh, got to kick it with me. Took him around some friends and what have you and stuff. Took him to a place where I used to uh, hang out at a sports bar with uh, a lot of Filipinos and stuff. Drank good, ate good, ate some damn squid. I'm Asian. I mean, I don't eat anything. I don't eat all that cat and dog and all that kind of stuff and stuff. He didn't like that kind of stuff. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, he showed me a new car. My oldest daughter, had, she's in Houston. She works for the uh, uh, social worker for the state for kids to have uh, parents that are on drugs or whatever and stuff. And, I always liked the Camaro, always liked the Camaro, but it's just crazy how both of my oldest ch children both have a Camaro. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy and what happened and stuff. But man, I had a good time to get to see my baby daughter too. Got to kick it with my friends, family. Uh, shoot. Ate so good, did justice to my stomach and what happened and stuff. And now I'm back on this road, man. I tell you, man, sometimes, mm, you know, when you're on a break for a while and stuff, man, it does seem like it takes it to shake off that thing to get back into the rhythm of things and what happened and stuff, man. But I'm going to go ahead and do this until three weeks, I think. You know, I'll say about three weeks, and I'm going to take a paid vacation. I'm thinking I'm going to take seven days off and what happened and stuff. And where I'm at, um, it's been over a year and some change and what happened and stuff since I've been doing flatbed and I am open for me, like I said, I, different shows are different shows. I can only speak for me, and everything is go, um, going good. The momentum is still there. My vig is still there. I really, really, like, this is the only job I've ever had that I really wake up, not every damn morning, but primarily the bulk of it. When I wake up, I take pride in this job, man. I, I, I mean, damn, nice equipment, uh, nice company I'm with, you know what I'm saying, uh, make very decent money, uh, you know, because my money, goddamn, oh shit, man, I tell you, man, my money was so damn short, man, my mom was so damn broke, man, shit, if it cost two cents to take a shit, I couldn't even afford to vomit, you know what I'm saying, but, uh, but anyway, they had a good time, man, I still like what I'm doing, what have you, I can see myself doing this for a while, uh, you know, as far as people ask me about owner, I don't know shit about owner. I just told my buddy on the phone, man, you just got to go on YouTube and just interact and network for, for people and talk to them and get the details about it. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, you know, right now I'm content where I'm at. Um, I always feel like I need improvement, um, you know, to be more efficient, um, to be, you know, to be better than what I do, you know. Um, but I don't know nothing about owner ops. I don't know about leasing what have you and stuff. But like I said, one, once I reach one peak, I don't want to be complacent and I don't want to be content. You know, when one uh, <clears throat> wonderful uh, peak arises, you'll start to see other uh, uh, wonderful peaks arise and what have you. And one of those peaks might be an owner op. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know nothing about owner ops and what have you and stuff. So I can't speak about it. I just told him, I mean, just. Some of the YouTube videos and interact with the owner op. I was talking to an owner op yesterday and what have you. But where I'm at, I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? I like the medical benefits. I like the, de the uh, decent pay. I like how this company's treating me. You know, there's some people that wasn't treated good in this company. That's everywhere. You know what I'm saying? It's not the person. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not talking about negative people I'm t or people that just bitch. You know, if they want a million dollars, they'd be mad because they didn't win two million dollars. You know, sometimes it's all about your fleet. You know, I'm just fortunate and lucky. I wish I could knock on wood that I've been on a good fleet. Every time I have a problem with having stuff, my uh, uh, my relationship with my um, DM is great. And I'm not saying it just to be saying it realistically. If it was bad or mediocre, I'll let y'all know. But unfortunately, some of my buddies in the company would have just a very few. They just ain't jiving, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, <clears throat> so that's how I see it. But other than that, man, same old thing, man. 
another day, another dollar in depth, man. I hope I see y'all later. If you got any questions or what happened about that dang uh, cricket, this cricket, I'm still using the cricket phone, um, ZTE Max Pro, the hotspot Fox 5 still working. You can look at my videos and what have you. Like I said, I'm about to buy me a PS4. I'm playing Total War 2. 